Sometimes I sit here and I think about the message that society is giving us. If you can sing and dance, or if you can act, or if you make a ton of money, you can pretty much get away with anything. Hell, in this day and age, you can even become the president of the United States. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics from pop culture or the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, this was actually on my mind ever since Marshmello released his track with Chris Brown that was like trending on YouTube and everything. And I was thinking back to months and months and months ago, the YouTube creator who is just killing it right now, uh, Gus Johnson, he's even been featured on Comedy Central and things like that. But anyways, Gus Johnson like kind of stepped out of his comedy skit niche to make a video about Chris Brown. And I really respect him for that. Like, um, like just stepping out of like what you do just because something's bothering you, like, uh, you know, in the world and just saying, you know what, I need to talk about this. I have a platform, I need to talk about this. And this is something that I do on my platform as well. And I think more creators should do this and more people should advocate for things that they, they believe in. But anyways, he made a video about Chris Brown and just how confused he was about the situation and how upset he was about the situation. And basically, you know, in Gus's video, he talks about Chris Brown's history of like assault, abuse, and everything like that. Like when you think about Chris Brown, you often think about what he did to Rihanna. Like, what was that, like almost a decade ago? Something like that, right? But what Gus was pointing out was like, this is a behavior that has not stopped. This isn't something that Chris like served time for or he like, you know, learned from or anything like that. Like since then, like Gus pointed out, like since then, Chris Brown has had a record of doing terrible things, like ever since then. Because in Chris Brown's mind, he can get away with anything. And something that Gus talked about is how it bums him out that people like, that he he is a fan of as artists, like Lil Dicky, for example, would work with somebody like Chris Brown and it really gets him thinking. And I can definitely relate to that. Like that's something that I, I think about. Like I think that we should all be checking in with our morals and our motivations and everything like that. And like, there are artists out there who I no longer support. I've mentioned this in a, in a video before, but like, I no longer support Empire. And this was before the Jesse Smollett um, incident that happened. But like, um, just because uh, the one of the main actors in there, um, what's his name, is it Terrence Howard? He has had a, a history of domestic violence against women, right? And like, once I learned that, I was like, oh man, I, I don't really wanna watch this this show anymore. And like, because like something that we're doing just as a society, in my opinion, we are letting people get away with it. We're telling them like, okay, even though you did some awful things, we still got your back because we value like entertainment above all else. But there's something that, that's going on like where we have to take a look back and say, can we really enjoy it? Like, are we, forcing ourselves to not think about the terrible things that that person has done. So to follow up with that, just the other day on Twitter, Gus, he vocalized, you know, what I was thinking too, is like, oh no, now Marshmello is collaborating with Chris Brown. Like, I love me some Marshmello. I love me some Marshmello, right? And he just recently did a song with Churches, and Churches is one of my favorite bands out there. So the next part of this video is that Churches spoke out about this as well. So Churches actually made a post that said this. We are really upset, confused, and disappointed by Marshmello's choice to work with Tyga and Chris Brown. We like and respect Mello as a person, but working with people who are predators and abusers enables excuses and ultimately tacitly endorses that behavior. That is not something we can or will stand behind. And yeah, like this is another instance, kind of like what I was saying about Gus B Johnson, but like churches, they spoke up about this. Like they, they talk about things that they believe in. And here's the thing for anybody out there, I don't care if you want to be, you know, uh, uh, a YouTube creator, a singer, an actor, uh, 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 an athlete, or just somebody like, you know, trying to work your way up the corporate ladder. Like 
we need, like something that makes us human is that we need to have like our own moral compass. And everybody has like different moral compasses, but like there's certain things where we have to stand and just put a foot down and say, this is not okay, this is not right. I'm like, why do you think so many celebrities and, and people in the public spotlight get so depressed? Because they lose themselves. So like huge, huge props to churches for speaking up about this. And they were just doing it and they, they ended up talking about this as a concert, like at a concert, like they, they just recently worked with Marshmello and because of their advocacy, like um, the lead singer, uh, Lauren, like she works with like a rape crisis organization in Scotland. Like she felt like, or they felt that they need to speak up about this because they just worked with Marshmello. Well, anyways, anyways, Chris Brown had to reply to this. And here's what he had to say about it. Bunch of losers. These are the type of people I wish walked in front of a speeding bus full of mental patients. Keep groveling over you own insecurities and hatred. I'm black and proud. Stop it. Stop, just stop. Time out. Time out. As a half black man, that is absolutely ridiculous to even mention that and to say I'm black and I'm proud. Like the message that you're putting out there for other black men is that it's okay for us to be delusional dicks, all right? Like this is such a delusional statement that he made, like just kind of tossing that in there to try to make this a race thing. There is nothing that church has said that had anything to do with race. It had to do with the fact that you beat women, okay? And it has to do with the fact that you are currently being accused of rape, okay? It had nothing to do with your skin color and it absolutely just kills me when people play this kind of like identity politics, like, whoa, 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 okay, uh, uh, this is about my race. No, it's because you're an well, anyways, he goes on to say, and I know it hurts that you guys are struggling with life or peace, so you are forced to see my success. You aren't even number two. Remember, second place only means you lost first. Ta-ta, good day, peasants. Like that right there, that right there, these are the words of a man who since being a teenager and got into the public spotlight has been able to get away with whatever he wants, okay? And like, this is something that we all need to look at as a society, because every time we stream their music, every time we watch one of their videos, every time we do anything, we are endorsing that behavior. We are telling them, we are sending them a message with every single stream, listen, view, whatever it is, we are saying your behavior is okay. All right, like I have personally, like I, pff, yo, I used to have a ton of Chris Brown music on my Spotify playlist and I can't even listen to it anymore. Hell, I even had Jesse Smollett songs from uh, the show Empire on my playlist. I can't even listen to it anymore. So then, since then, since then, Churches has been getting death threats and I'm gonna link to the TMZ article down below but they have a clip from um, the Churches concert where they kind of uh, talked about this situation and why they expressed their, you know, uh, their opinion about Marshmallow working with Chris Brown or whatever. But they go on to say that people are threatening to rape them and shoot them because they spoke out about domestic violence and rape, okay? <laughs> like, and that is absolutely ridiculous. But here's my favorite quote from Lauren, and I just love churches even more for this. Angry men on the internet can call me all the names they want. I still think domestic abuse is wrong. You go, girl, you go. The last thing I wanna talk about in this situation is like the artists who keep working with Chris Brown. Like, it is just brutal. Like. I, I try to be empathetic, okay? Like, and empathy is just a matter of putting yourself in someone else's shoes. So I try to put myself in the other person's shoes, like Lil Dicky, someone I'm a fan of, Marshmallow, someone I'm a fan of, and try to put myself in their shoes of working with Chris Brown, and I just don't see how you could do it. I do not, I can't imagine doing that. Like, knowing, knowing what this person has done, Right, knowing what this person has done, I can't imagine recording a song with them, making a video with them, having a good time, joking around, without it being in the front of my mind that this is a terrible person. Like this is a person who does horrendous things and gets away with it, and I am enabling that behavior. Like I can't imagine, like imagine being in an office. Like imagine being at your office and, and hiring somebody or working with somebody who you know 
beats women or abuses women. Like, could you imagine working with that person, like them being at the desk right next to you? Like, how would you feel about that? How comfortable would you feel about that? Or if you're like a boss or an employer, like imagine hiring that person. Imagine knowing, imagine knowing that they have not paid for their crimes, right? They have shown no remorse and imagine hiring that person. You know what I mean? So I look at it and I look at, you know, the, the little Dickie song, Freaky Friday, or this new song with Marshmello, and I'm like, like, am I made to believe, should I believe that there was no other, no other R&B artist who could be on this track? Like, is this something that just wasn't, wasn't possible and that that's absolutely ridiculous you know what i mean like there's so many r b artists you know so 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 many hell get somebody from boys to men you know what i'm saying no that probably wouldn't have worked for freaky friday or maybe marshmallow song but anyways i love me some boys to men but like khalid you know what i mean like i love him but like that's what i'm wondering i'm like why chris brown like of all the options why chris brown and the the conflict that i have especially with somebody like Lil dicky is that he just made this phenomenal like Earth Day song about how we need to like, you know, get together and like protect the earth and global warming and all that stuff. So like Lil Dicky has these like morals and values, but he worked with Chris Brown. And that's why I'm just like, ah, oh, like, cause I, that's the thing. As people, we are very selective of when we want our morals to guide us. You know what I'm saying? We are very selective about these things. And like, I hate to bring this up, but like, I'm a vegetarian and something that I realized, you know, when I became vegetarian was like, I was being very selective about animal abuse. And hell, even to this day, like I'm vegetarian, I'm not vegan. You know, and I'd be lying to you if I said like, oh, I only buy these types of eggs or these types of cheeses or whatever. But you know, like this is something that I think about, you know, if, if we hear about, you know, child labor, you know, in other countries, like, we're like, oh my God, that's awful. But then again, most of us don't even know where our clothes came from. You know what I mean? We are very selective with our morals. And it's like, I don't know. I just think as people, we should just kind of look at the different things that we're doing. And like, and in certain points, at certain points, we have to put our foot down and say like, no, this is not okay. And I'm no longer going to endorse or enable that type of behavior. All right, but anyways, those are my thoughts on this subject. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you feel like we give people who are, are, are singers or dancers or athletes or actors or whoever it is, do you feel like we give them more of a pass than we would the average person? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you like what I'm doing here, you wanna help support the channel and get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.